You probably already know about the Porsche 911 Turbo. There's the 3.6 litre flat six engine from which twin turbochargers force an astonishing 480 horsepower. There's four wheel drive, some tasty 19 inch forged alloys and modifications to the bodywork that double the aggression quotient of a regular 911. So far, so good. A 193 mile an hour sports car needs a tight focus to its design. But does it need a convertible roof? Or, heaven forbid, automatic transmission? Let's find out. To start with, the Porsche Tiptronic gearbox scores points over the manual car by punching to 62 miles an hour a tenth or two faster at a mere 3.8 seconds. It's an impressive statistic, but that's about it I'm afraid. Porsche may have invented the Tiptronic transmission, but it's way behind in today's game. There are only five speeds instead of the more commonplace six. And as for changing gear manually with these rockers on the steering wheel, well really, doesn't Porsche know about paddle shifts? But instead of whacking up and down the gears like Hamilton, I'm forced to use my thumb on these wretched little nappy family switches. Quick it certainly is, but you definitely lose on the visceral driving excitement when you swap the manual for the Tiptronic. The loss of involvement is significant, but then maybe that isn't a major problem for buyers of turbo convertibles. Because there's also something slightly incongruous about a car that is this blindingly quick with a folding roof. Sure, it all works extremely well, nicely insulated against the winter chill, although a bit noisier inside than a coupe. The roof can be raised and lowered on the go too, which is far more useful than you might ever imagine. It's just that if you exploit the 911's considerable performance engine, you cry out for the security and stability of a car with a steel roof. You'll hardly feel shortchanged by the chassis dynamics though. This Cabriolet steering is as sharp and precise as any Porsche's. It's the simple way that just a small movement of the steering wheel places the car so accurately in the corner, but it's such a delight. And the four-wheel drive chassis? Well, it can be argued that a rear drive 911 is a bit more fun. But with nearly 500 horsepower to play with, the extra security is always welcome. What this 911 also does well is track along fast, sweeping roads with greater aplomb. Rear spoiler rises to keep the rear of the car in check, though as this happens at 75 miles an hour, you won't, of course, be able to experience this situation in the UK. The interior really gives the game away as the 911 Turbo's target buyer. The traditional Porsche 5 dial instrument pack is there alright, but otherwise this is as luxurious as a Porsche gets. It may be mightily fast, but if it's an ultra focused 911 you're after, it's not the Turbo you want, but the 911 GT3. Whether you really want an automatic turbo convertible is also a question we find hard to answer. Isn't this a car that's more about showing off than anything else? If it's a Porsche convertible you want, the regular 911 soft top is equally fabulous and a meaningful 40k less than this £110,000 turbo. Then again, we reckon the brilliant box dress is a far more enticing drive than any 911 convertible. Trouble is, it's too cheap. The good points? Well, there's stonking straight line performance, that easy one touch electric roof system, and wonderful steering. On the negative side, there's something of an image problem with this turbo cabriolet. The Tiptronic transmission is far from the best, and it doesn't really represent good value for money.